In this day and age with access to social media and whatnot, it's given people a platform to express themselves, make cool content, and most importantly, get offended by things that are completely harmless for no reason at all. Which brings me on to the topic of today's video. This video that I saw the other day, it comes from a guy called Connor, who was a part of the comedy TikTok account Four Brothers, but left recently to form his own path, to make his own mark on the world independently. So what kind of stuff is he posting? It must be good if he sacrificed being a part of a popular a TikTok comedy group to do it. I've just been to Curry's to exchange a TV. Now, this isn't my normal fitness stuff I do, but it's annoyed me that much that I'm making a video. Oh, wow. This must be pretty mega if you're deviating from your fitness videos. Like, this must be so important. Maybe he's lifting the lid on something. Maybe he's about to say something profound that will change the way we think and live our lives. It has to be important if he's willing to abandon the thought of filming himself lifting weight. This must have really got under his skin, and for good reason if he's making a video about this. So tell us, Connor, what happened? happens when you went to Curry's to exchange your TV? Did you get harassed? Did the, did the store get held up at gunpoint? What was it, Connor? It's so unlike you to deviate from your normal fitness content. Go into Curry's with the telly. It's all going well. Get to the checkout, exchange it, whatever. I look behind me and there's three massive pride flags. <gasps> what? No, you're joking. Pride flags. I literally could not think of anything worse. I'm so sorry you had to go through this, Connor. I now see why you had to put the fitness content on hold. This is urgent. You were subject to looking at not one, not two, but three pride flags <laughs> while simply trying to exchange your TV at Curry's. I'm mortified for you. I honestly am. This must be so hard and I really hope you're okay. Obviously, I'm joking. This is a really stupid thing to get upset by. I'm guessing he's posting this because he's now tried to go off and form his own thing, which is making fitness videos. He's found out it's harder than he expected, so to get eyes on him, he's resorted to becoming a grifter to appeal to massive fickos and rile up controversy, which, in my opinion, is an old business model. It's dead. Most people can see straight through this now, but no one who isn't trying to grift makes videos like this. It's such a non-issue. What he's going to try and do is raise his profile by posting waffle like this, then try and sell some half ass training course, which isn't going to work. You should have tried this business model when Andrew Tate was doing Hustlers University. You might have had a chance then. But people aren't stupid. They see right through this now. You're not fooling anyone. I'm looking. I'm like, to the guy, is it Pride Week? And he goes, nah, not this week. But in a few weeks, and obviously you got the big month in June coming up. Why? What, what is it with the the constant pushing of their opinion and just flags everywhere you go. Mate, it's it's a flag with colours on it. It's not a flag that says be gay or die. They were probably put up with the best intentions at heart of trying to make gay customers and staff feel like they're welcome there. You don't have to take any notice of it. If you go into a pub and they have a, a Manchester United flag on the wall, are you going to go away and go, girl, that, that fucking pub. They were trying to shove Manchester United down my throat. No, of course you're not. That would be mental. I know a lot of people who agree with this guy will say it's not the same thing because they, because these people seem to think that the world has like this agenda to make more people gay for some reason. It literally makes no sense. Looking at a flag of a rainbow doesn't make someone gay. I know this may be a newsflash, but it, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I have no problem with gays, trans, bi's, lesbians, whatever you are, I've got no problem with it. But I do have a problem with almost four in their opinion on you. What, the opinion that gay people should be allowed to coexist and feel welcome in curries? They have just the same right to exchange their TV as you. I think that's a normal opinion to have. The World Cup in Qatar, that was big. Footballers wearing armbands, flags everywhere you go. Yeah, because people get imprisoned and it's technically legal to be executed for being gay over there. Like, what are you fucking on about? Do you not think there should be some kind of protest or show of disdain for their treatment of people? You know, I don't have a problem if you're gay, trans, by it. However, if a country wants to kill them off, let them be. Why are you wearing an armband shoving it down my throat? It makes me very upset. Loser, go back to doing press-ups. Imagine if there was a straight month. Fuck me. Twitter would explode. This argument is always brought up by the most stupid people in our society. Why on earth would there be a straight man? Nobody has ever been shunned by society for being straight. And I say that as a straight person. It would make literally no sense, you moron. It was only decades ago in this country that people were in prison for being who they are. And in many countries, that is still very much the case. So anyway, after tearing up in his car at the sight of three flags, not one, not two, but three flags, which is understandable, he managed to get out of his depressive state and cruel to some kind of gym apparatus. I don't know what it is. To respond to the vile hate he was getting on the video. 1,000 comments. Holy shit. He's homophobic. It's just a fucking flag, mate. If you listen to the video, 
I said I have no problem with your sexuality. Yeah, you fucking morons. If you just listen to what I had to say, you'll know I don't hate gay people. I just hate any symbols of their acceptance within society. I don't even know why I'm thinking into this. It's all obviously part of the con he's got going on. No sane person cares this much about a gay flag. I've seen this grift a million times over. Mark my words, he's going to attempt to gain relevancy off this to try and jumpstart his what is likely to be mid-training slash nutrition course. But as I said, he is a bit late to this business model. It's the constant pushing it on everyone else I have a problem with. And that's called an opinion. And we can agree or disagree. What happens to freedom of speech? Yeah, putting a pride flag up is also freedom of speech and you seem very, very upset with that. You're basically calling for them to be teared down. Freedom of speech goes both ways, Connor. I didn't see anyone say you can't say this. People were just rebuttaling your opinion, which they are very much allowed to do. That is freedom of speech. That is what you are crying about here. You just think about what I'm gonna say. Have an open mind. Who do you think suffered more? Your great grandparents, your relatives who are willing to die in World War One and World War Two, sacrificed their lives so their bloodline and their family could go on. So you're here today, or people who get some negative comments and insults thrown at them for their sexuality. What on earth are you on about? How is this relevant? It's always the proper set haters that for some reason bring World War Two into everything. Yeah, well, would you rather be a soldier running into almost certain death on the beaches of Normandy or suffer homophobic abuse? Like, what, what do those have to do with each other? Just because one is worse than the other doesn't make the other one a non-issue. But like, no gay person has ever God, oh fuck, I just I just got homophobically abused. I would much rather be storming Normandy than have that happen again. It just doesn't happen. And I see this a lot where people try and pit people who fought in World War II. It's mostly children that do this and idiots like this. They try and pit people who fought in World War II against gay people as if gay people hate the people who fought for our freedom, who fought against fascism. Like, give your head a wobble. Fucking hell. Who do you think suffered more? And yet we have months and weeks of celebrating sexuality and one day remembering those who died. Yeah, because the day Remembrance Day falls on holds particular significance. And if you really care, Connor, start a Veterans Month. Nobody is stopping you. But something tells me you don't really care and you're just doing this to get some cheap attention because you're scared of no one knowing who you are. You're terrified. You had a taste of the high life with four brothers, but that's all gone now. And you're desperately trying to claw some of that back, but you can't. You may get a glimmer of it here and there with your stupid videos like this, but big picture, you will fail because you're attempting to build your fitness empire on a house of cards. This will not work. You will fail. God forbid I share my opinion. That would be mental. No one's trying to say you can't share your opinion. People are just sharing their opinion back. Anyway, this guy called Louis made a response video to his video about, you know, the flags when he was really upset about it. And Connor responded back and it's about as stupid as you can probably expect it to be. Think what you want to think, Gunner. <laughs> but then he doubled down on it and he just said the most stupid shit. I'm gonna paint my nails, okay? And I can almost envision the comments. You can't paint your nails, it's gay! What happened to men laying bread? This is the, uh, this is the strong men for our future, ladies and gentlemen. Lou is going to save us all. Save us from who? The Germans? What century are you living in? The Mongolians aren't banging on the door. What is this? Also, mate, come on. Have some self-awareness. You posted a video in the car park of a Curry's because you saw three pride flags. And you were very, very upset about it. I think if the Romans came knocking, you would not be much help either. Funny thing is, the majority of people in your comments agree with me. No, they don't. If you look at the comments of any of this guy's videos, they're calling him an idiot and asking if he really left the four brothers to make stuff like this. Like, this is the most insane career trajectory I've ever seen someone make. Like, leaving a successful comedy group with a successful YouTube channel about, like, golf and stuff. To make videos crying in a Curry's car park about seeing a pride flag. This is just, this is fucking tragic, man. Like, you can be the most homophobic person on the planet and still look at this and go, wow, this is fucking pathetic. You say I've got a whack take on pride flags. So let's just talk about this. If you're in the community right now and you're sat there and you think the reason we have a pride month is because they care and it's to help and it's to spread awareness about the community. You need to wake up. They don't give a shit about any of us. If his point here is that the current government don't really care about us, I'd say based and true. But what the fuck does this have to do with Pride Month or whatever? Absolutely nothing. Pride was around long before the government actively started talking about it. It wasn't something that, I don't know, Rishi Sunak just made up to try to undermine veterans or whatever. And the sad thing is, I feel like you only have this opinion and have made this video just so you fit in with the crowd and so your PC. And it's like, if you were actually true to yourself, 
and were speaking your mind, you would actually agree with me. What, so if someone has a different opinion to you, they're not actually speaking their mind and they must be lying because you're such a, a big brain genius, Connor. And anyone that disagrees with you must be lying because you're such an intellect. Big fucking newsflash alert. Not many people hold your stupid opinions, Connor. And for good reason. They're ridiculous. You're upset about a flag. A literal piece of cloth in a computer shop. It's so pathetic. But what's even more pathetic than that is that you left a successful career to do this it's so sad and i actually want to thank you because that video got half a million views you are welcome because your views weren't looking too good mate now i've given you a video that's popped off so you're welcome i really hate this comment he's talking as if he gifted this guy a banger video because of how relevant he is in the nicest way possible connor you are brutally irrelevant which is fine i think the emphasis especially the tiktok generation puts on being relevant and constantly in the spotlight is fucking stupid as if relevancy somehow is equal to your worth as a person but don't go around acting the big man talking as if your name is gold dust it isn't your name holds absolutely no weight i have never heard of you before this i'm talking about you right now i do not even know your name i know your name's connor i don't know what what your last name is other than the clear upset over a few flags hung, hung in a curries it's, it's so stupid like <laughs> It's so stupid. He also has some really weird opinions about what women should be doing. Now, this is a bit of a long clip. It's, it's around about a minute long, but trust me, just watch it. It is absolute insanity. Well, the greatest things in their life were, honestly, marriage and children. I don't really get this video, Paige. She was basically talking about when she was a paramedic, she would ask patients on their deathbed their biggest accomplishments and they'd either say having kids or be, or getting married. And she was like, I wouldn't be happy with that. I'd rather have cliff dived or bungee jumped. And I do think a lot of women share the same opinion. Like their number one priority isn't having kids, which is kind of scary because I was looking at the stats the other day and the growth rate is in decline. Like we are in population collapse, like each year. The population is increasing, but if you look at the past years, the number it's increasing by is getting less and less. And look, I'm a man. I don't know how you women think, but surely your number one priority in life is having kids. I mean, no, I, I do have some empathy for this guy, though, because he's clearly hit his head and now thinks he's back in the early 1940s. First, the panic about the German invasion and the worry if there will be enough strong men to defend our island nation. And secondly, this. Nobody with a fully functioning brain born after 1980 has ever thought this. Like, I personally want kids. Not now, though. Fuck that. That sounds terrible. But at some point in the future, I want kids. And I also know people that don't want kids at any point in their life life and i understand why it's not something everyone wants different people want different things not everyone wants to have kids like why are you involving yourself so much in this business he goes on to talk about like declining birth rates or whatever but mate honestly i'm saying this in the nicest way possible focus on yourself because you have made some very poor career decisions and you need to focus on rebuilding yourself like beg to be let back in the comedy group with your brothers this isn't gonna work out get on your knees and plead if you have to maybe I don't know, people just can't be asked to go through all them years of having kids. I think you women need to sort your priorities out. Mate, you left a successful comedy group to make let edgy TikToks crying about flags and telling women what to do with their bodies and lives. You have absolutely no right whatsoever to tell people to get their priorities straight. Your priorities are as straight as James Charles, mate. Even if this is a grift, which it most definitely is, he's still a moron. He's trying to build something off this and make money off this shit. Like, it's never gonna work in a million years. People can see right through it. Connor, you are terminally stupid. Like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments.